I'm Bruce Blitz, and welcome to Cartooning with Blitz. Now, the subject of today's show is... Guess. Ready? What am I doing? That's right, I am facing the facts. And now, I am faxing the face. All right, what am I talking about? I'm talking about the features of a cartoon face, how to get your characters to all look different, and that's what we'll be doing today. And for our feature of the day, we'll be playing fold the face like this. No, not like that. We're using paper, and some friends are stopping by because it's a great game to play and a lot of fun. And for our doodle trick portion, name tunes. Take some simple names like Pam, Roy, and Ted, turn them into finished cartoons. So if you're ready, grab your marker, and let's draw cartoons. All right, let's talk facial facts. And I got a really cool way to illustrate this, I think. Let's start with these faces right here. Now, I've got four facial outlines, all different. Now, what I've done is I've drawn the insides of the face with the features like this, and I made four exactly the same. And I know they're exactly the same because I used a copy machine, and then I cut them out. Okay, now watch this. I'll take these, and I'll put them right on these facial outlines like that. Now, look, we've got four different characters, even though we've got the four same inside of the faces, but because the outlines are different, makes the characters all look different. Pretty cool, huh? All right, now let's reverse that situation. And we have four outlines here that are exactly the same, unlike before. And what we're going to do now is draw in different facial features inside. So here's a nose. Let's give him black circles for eyes and some eyebrows. And let's see, a big smile. And there's our first character. Now let's move over here, and we'll give him eyes with the white part showing like this. And make the eyes a little bit bigger. And that's going to change it. Now his nose won't be so little. We'll give him a big nose like that. And his mouth, it'll be smiling. Now we're using the same facial expression too to keep this experiment fair. And there's his lips. So they're all smiling, and there's his eyebrows. Now we'll move down to this one. And this time we'll make his eyes squares or rectangles. And his eyebrows, also rectangles, filled in. And let's give him a pointy nose. And again, a smile, keeping this consistent. Now over here, now look at this. We're going to put his eyes way up top and make little circles for his eyes and his eyebrows. And a big nose, but sort of pointy. And a smile down here. Now, we've got four faces, all different, but with the same facial outline. Now, i got another one for you. Ready? This time, I'm going to draw one facial outline. And I'll be working kind of large on this. There's the ears. Let's give him a big chin. And let's see. Let's give him a buzz cut. Yeah, like that. And some hair on the sides. All right. Now, what I've done is I've drawn the features and cut them out. Like, here's the mouth. And here's a set of eyes. And then I've got my nose right here or his nose, and I'll put that right down, and I'm going to show you simply by sliding the features around in the same facial outline that that will change the character as well. Look at that. Now it's down low. Let's put it up high, and look how the character looks different. Watch this. Well, I'll put his nose, his mouth way up top. See that? And that changes the character as well. Now, what's the point of all this? Well, the point is simply this, that even though we're working with cartooning, which is an abbreviated form of art, and we're using like kind of less lines to start with, there's no excuse to not get tons, and I mean tons, of different cartoon characters. All right, now let's make our own cartoon characters, and we'll be using expressions. Now, expressions are very important because they make your characters appear to be thinking, and that's very important. So let's start with a guy who's freezing cold, and we'll be introducing hats, and hats change your characters too. So let's start with this hat, which is going to be... Like a ski hat, only the kind Santa Claus wears. I guess it's a ski hat, but it's the kind with a pom-pom. Just makes it a little funnier for a cartoon. All right, now for his face. Well, wait a minute. First we have to give him earmuffs and his nose. Now, noses don't affect facial expressions at all. And here's a scarf. Right 
Now here's the other part of the scarf coming out that way. Now here it comes. All right, first his eyes. Well, his eyes will be wide open and the pupils small in the middle like that. And here's his eyebrows are up and his teeth. Now watch this. You've got to see his teeth. They're not smiling, but it looks a little like a smile, but it's definitely wide open, his mouth. And there's his teeth. There's his lower lip. And now for the cartoon effects and accessories, which are going to drive this expression home. Ready? Now watch this. Some wavy lines on the side. Shows that he's freezing cold. How about some smoke coming from his mouth? Because his breath, what else? Oh, a sound effect. Brr. Brr. And you got a cold guy. Let's do another one. Okay, this time, let's draw the opposite. We'll draw a woman. She could be on the beach wearing a big hat. Keep the sun off of her. Here's the big, large brim. And here's her hat. All right, now, when you're drawing a character with a hat on, you must make it look like the head fits inside of the hat. And here's her hair. Now she's going to be extremely hot from the sun. Now watch. Here's her facial outline. And what we're doing is mixing and matching all these features like we did before, only changing them around a little bit. This time they're not just smiling. This way they tell a story. There's a necklace. Okay, now she's very hot. So her mouth could be a broken line like this. And there's her nose. All right, now her eyes. Ooh. Well, let's give her circles that meet in the middle. And her eyes are half shut, but they're going up like that, those lines. And her eyes in the middle. Oh, you got to think these actions through. I'm getting into it. Some perspiration. Maybe her tongue's out like the heat. I put these wavy lines in it, make it look like she's steaming mad. And another element. Here we go. We'll put a sun right up here. And even the sun will have a facial expression on it. No nose, just mouth and eyes, like he's bearing down on her, beating down on her with the sun. And that turns out to be a great expression. And now, guess what? It's time for the pun of the day. Ready? Take a look at this. What is that? That's right. He is taking a long walk. See? This guy's saying, hey, bring that back. Because he's taking it. See? That's the pun. All right. Now let's do another one. And now let's do a running pose because cartoonists have to have a couple good running poses up his or her sleeve, very important, because that's what adds action to your cartoons. Now I'm going to start with an oval like that for the body, and this will be for the head. And now watch this. This is going to be like a, a backwards N, the letter N. And that's going to be for the feet. And I'll shape right here real lightly for his feet. And his arm's going out that way, with a shape for his hands. Like that. Okay. Now, let's go back. Now, let's put an expression into this fellow as well. Let's see. Let's have him scared. So there's his nose and his mouth. Well, it's taking up most of that shape, just like that. And his teeth are clenched. So we put that line in the middle. Look at their meeting. Okay. Now his eyes. Well, he's scared. Give him those pupils real close together. His eyebrows. And notice the eyebrows are off of the shape. You can do that kind of thing in cartooning. Here's his ear and hair flying straight back because he's running. A couple of funny hairs coming up that way too. Perspiration. That's a cartoon effect and accessory we cannot do without. All right. Now, let's stick it up what we've already put down. And that's going to be his arms. That'll be a sleeve right there. And watch this. His forearm tapers like that to his hand. Now let's have his thumb out like this. Now his palm will be facing us. I see that circle there? We're going to add fingers to it. And that's a great way to draw cartoon hands. Add fingers and a thumb to a circle. 
or a square shape, but the idea is you have to start with some sort of shape. Let you know where you're going. Okay, now here's his other arm. Now, I might have started with this, might have started this with a pencil and then erased it after I put the ink down, but I want you to see the uh, stick figure at home, so I'm using marker. Okay, now right there, let's see, we can put a collar in, and I'm going to give him a necktie, and I want to do that because it's something else to go flapping in the wind for this running pose and add a little bit of personality to the drawing. And then the other part, which usually comes out wrong the first couple times that I make my tie. Usually comes out longer than that part, well. And then we're going to darken in this shape. Okay, now where's his waist? Well, he's leaning back, so that waistline would be curved a little bit like that. Now let's put in his legs. Now here's one leg, bent, his knee. There's little squiggles there where the, you know, the pants bended. And here's his foot. Now let's see, we're going to see the bottom of his foot in this pose, the way his foot is positioned. We see a little bit of the side, and then his ankle. And there's his heel, and this little wavy line there. See what that is? That's gum. Okay. And this is other leg back here. And let's see. Now, this other leg, because it's in the back, we're going to shadow it in a little bit. And that way it gives your drawing a little bit of depth, doesn't it? And here's his other foot. Now, watch this. Come around. A little detail for the sole. Now, for laces, you can do a couple things for laces. You can have squiggly lines. Or if you really feel like getting into the detail of it, you can make little squares like that and put the laces in. And then for the bow, and it all depends on what? Your own personal style of cartooning. And I've seen it done many ways. Let's give them jeans. Some stitching. Okay, let's see what else. Well, we've got to put a shadow. Now notice the shadow is away from the figure. That way he's in the air. Now, it just looks like he's floating in the air now, but not with cartoon effects and accessories. Some dust, some smoke. And I don't know what this guy is so afraid of, but you know what? Let's even make him going faster. Now watch. Boom. Take it to the max. That's what I say. Make your cartoons. Run off the page. See how that works? That's great. All right, now let's add some color to it. I'll use a little bit of blue for his pants. Just like this. Now, these are your actors, friends. These are what tell your story. And that's why you need running poses and all sorts of facial expressions like we were doing, because how are you going to tell your story? You can't have every character just looking at you, the viewer, like this no matter what situation they're in. It doesn't work. You have to have them thinking like people do. All right. Let's use a little bit of this color for his, his face. And again, I would have erased some of those lines there, but I want you to get the idea of what I'm doing here. And I hope you're following along because you can see that once you've laid down the skeleton or the stick figure, you just build on it. It's an artist term called fleshing out. All right, let's see what else. Oh, I got it. Some red for his tie. Hey, he's like an all-American guy. He's got a red, white, and blue outfit here. Some red for his cheeks. Ooh, I know. Some brown for his hair. Hey, he's a good character. Let's see. Oh, I know. Some green for the grass, maybe? Oh, yeah, look how nice that goes on. <laughs> some red. For the speed lines. Now watch how this works. Look how that drawing just comes to life. Let's see what else. Maybe a little bit of blue in the background. Just right up to the cartoon line for his body. And you see how that will bring him to the foreground. It separates him from the background just a little bit. So you don't have white on white like that. Some clouds. That's a great cartoon sketch. All right.
So you see, by mixing and matching all the facial features, all the possibilities you can get. Now, stay tuned for the feature of the day with fold face All right, now, for today's feature, we're going to play fold a face And fold a face is a great game, and some friends stop by, I'd like to introduce them to you. Would you tell everyone your name? Valerie. Hi, Valerie. Welcome. And how about you? Sasha. Sasha. Okay, Sasha. We're going to play fold a face and what we're going to do is fold Sasha's face. No, 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 not quite. We took a piece of paper, and we folded it in thirds like this. And each of us are going to draw on one of the thirds. And the thing is, we're not going to see what the other person has already drawn. And... By doing this, we'll come up with a comic face, and we don't know what we're going to get. So you ready for this? Yeah. All right, gosh, ready? Okay. Valerie, you take the top part. That means you're going to draw the eyes, eyebrows, and some hair, okay? We won't watch. Cool. Okay, so what grade in school are you? I'm in fifth grade. Fifth grade, okay. And what, uh, what is your favorite subject in school? My favorite subject is math. Math? Are you very good at math? Yeah. Well, that's great. That's great. I was very good in math, too. No, I wasn't really very good. I wish I was good. And uh, how about well, any sports? You like to play sports? Uh, I like to play football. I like to play football. All right. And what else? How about video games? You like video games? Yeah. All right. Let's see. What's your favorite kind of video game? My favorite kind of video game is car racing. Car racing games. You know what? That's my favorite. I'm telling you, that's my favorite. I used to love that. Now you, you probably drive already, right? Real cars. Yeah. yeah. yeah you don't drive real cars. Yeah. When are you going to drive? Uh, five or six years. Five or six years. Oh boy. Oh, she's done. Okay, Sasha, ready? Yeah. Okay, you draw a nose and uh, some ears and side of the face. Go for okay. it. Here's the pen. Thank you. Okay, and I'll talk to Valerie. So, Valerie, what grade in school? Tenth. Tenth. Okay, and what are you studying for? And you'll, you'll be getting out soon, so what are you going to be doing? I want to be a TV personality. A TV personality? Yeah. Okay. Like what, an exercise show? I don't know. What. <laughs> no, like news and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Have you ever had any experience? Yeah, I get the opportunity to do that kind of stuff at school. You do? Okay, like what? Like a, a new show they have in yeah, school? Yeah, like a morning show type thing. Really? They have yeah. a, do you have a co-host and everything? Uh-huh, yeah. Can I watch this? This is great. Sure. Okay. <laughs> when you report the things that go on around the school? Yeah. Oh, that's very I'm good. Done. That's right. And Sasha's done. Ready? Now, I'm going to draw the bottom part. You fold it back so we can't see, okay? Okay. Here we go. Thank you. Okay, I don't know what we're going to get here, and I'm going to draw the mouth. So I'm going to draw some lips, and I don't know what anybody else has done, and I don't care, because that's what's going to make this a little funnier. I'm going to give a chin here, and let me see, oh, I know. And this, by the way, is a lot of fun to do at parties. And of course, you need at least three people. But then you need at least three people to have a decent party anyway. Right, folks? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ready? Let's see what we've got here. Okay, we'll unfold this. And there it is. All right. I think that came out great. <laughs> okay, you know what? Try this at home, your family or friends, see what kind of wacky face you can come up with. Hey, you know what? Each of us will sign his own third, right? Now stay tuned for Cartoon Doodle Tricks. Not great, right, guys. Come on. All right. Welcome to Doodle Tricks, and welcome to my friends. How you doing, guys? Good? All right. All right. Now, remember in the beginning of the show, I said we would do name tunes. We'll do some name tunes. So first one we'll do is Pam. Spell Pam. P-A-M. P-A-M. We'll work with... A capital P, capital A, and a capital M. All right, ready? Now, let's see. Right about here, let's put an I. And over here, we'll put another I. This way, she'll be looking off this way. Here's a nose, right down like that. Some eyelashes. And let's see, how about a big smile right there? And let's see, how about the outline of her face? And some hair. Come down this side like that. Now I know what you're wondering. What is the P going to become, right? Well, watch this. 
we put some petals on it, we can have flowers. And continue that line down, and we've got Pam with a flower in her hair. You like that one? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's do another one. And let's do another name. I got it. Ted. And it's good, by the way, to work with short names, right? When you're practicing this at home, what you want to do is use names like Ted and Pam. You don't want to use names like Benjamin or Francisco. Great names, but hard to cartoon with, right? Small E this time. Uh, let's see. Okay, with capital D. Okay, now, right in that E, we can make an I. And over here, we can make another I. So this character will be looking off this way as well. And that T can become the nose. And let's see, we'll give it a pointy chin. And we'll make the D Ted's ear. And some hair. And the top part of the T becomes his eyebrows. Ready? Let's give him a big smile. And there you have old Ted. You like that one? Yeah. Right, I got another one for you. Let's see, what other name can we use? Oh, yeah, Roy. Now, Roy's a great one. And we'll start with a capital R and a little O. Y. All right, let's see what we can do with this. Okay, see that circle right there? We'll make that into an I. And in the R, we'll have another I. And an eyebrow, an eyebrow. And that pointy part of the R will be no, Roy's no. nose. That's right. Very good, John. And I put a nostril <laughs> on it. And let's see. Let's give him a big, strong chin coming out like this, like he's a cowboy. We'll make him a cowboy. Big smile. And that part right there, well, that'll be his hair. And his ears right in there. And some hair coming down. And here's the cowboy hat. Ready? And let's continue the hat over here. Some detail. And there's old Roy. You like that one? Yes. All right. Well, that's all the time we have for today. And I hope you've enjoyed it at home. And I hope you guys liked it. And for our blitz tip, let's see. If you like the work you're doing, guess what? It isn't work. See? She's saying, hey, this is fun. I often think that cartooning isn't work at all, you know? Thanks for being with me. And help me out, guys. Keep, Keep on, on cartooning. cartooning. Just like they said.